All right, dudes. Well, if you watched my last Harley Benton video, uh, you know that the one they sent me had a bunch of uh, cosmetic flaws. It's literally one week later, and they sent me the new one. The other one is, uh, can you see it? Right there. Here, I'll give you, a, I'll show you a little reminder. The last one had these, these dings in it. Th this one came out of the box set up great. It plays awesome. There's not a ding or a scratch or a flaw that I can find on it at all. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to mod the fucking shit out of this guitar and uh, when I'm done with it uh, we'll do a little uh, sound comparison. I'm pretty much changing everything and total guitar plus parts everything included is going to be I think well under $500. Let me show you what I'm what I'm putting into it. Fender Original vintage Tele pickups. All right, one hundred and ten dollars. Check that out if you're interested in the output. Also gonna update all the electronics with this nine hundred and twenty D nine twenty D pre-wired Telecaster control plate with a what is this? It looks like it's a pure tone input jack. Sixty bucks. A lot of this shit is $59.99. The electronic, the pickups were $109.99. I'm just, I'm rounding to a dollar, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna, we might be off by pennies when this is done, but geez and crow, we're gonna get it close. Gonna put this Wilkinson bridge on with the brass saddles, all right? 25 bucks, 25.99, 26 bucks. We're gonna upgrade the nut. I'm not sure which one I want to put on there yet. I think both of these will fit, but we got a we got a flat bottom black tusk one, and then we got a regular old just fender uh, white. Man, this is some blown out fucking light in here. Let's fix this a little bit. Permanently lubricated nuts. Lube up those balls, kids, adults, not kids, adults, kids. I want to know nothing about what you do with your balls. Been watching that Woody Allen documentary. I only want to know about adult balls. Black Tusk XL Sleek String Trees. I couldn't think of a better word to describe them. Sleek, baby. String Trees, $12.70. Nuts are about 12 bucks each. I'm only going to use one, obviously. Although, you know, people need two nuts. Guitars need one nut. It's like... Like, guitars are like Tom Green, just one nut. That's an old, that's a, do people still know that Tom Green got a ball removed? I worked with him once, I opened for him. He was nice. We had a, I don't think we really hit it off, but we had a fine weekend together. A little comedy story for you. I'm excited about this one. We're gonna put these hip shot locking tuners on. They were 60 bucks, 59.99. I've never had locking tuners before, so I'm extra excited. And then we'll stick some uh, nine gauge uh, Ernie Dick strings on there. Okay. Where's my friggin water? Ooh. Strings off first. Actually, tags off first. Well, that's fun. All the little fucking, what do you call those things? Grommets? Things? I don't know. In the back, I'll decide to come off with the strings. Let's take the plastic off. Maybe I could should have kept it on actually if I'm gonna be soldering and doing all that shit over here, but I got excited. Let's pop the pick guard off, right? Uh, yeah. Let's pop everything off. My buddy just texted me, can you repair this? Fucking like 45 string guitar. Yeah, I can. Send it over. I'll have it ready in two years. Get this baby off. Gotta remember, unlike strats where the guitar is grounded uh, to the claw in the back of the guitar, Telecasters are grounded by part of the wire coming out of the body and making contact with the bottom of this plate right here. So we'll see if the control cavity that I bought, that one, has a, a ground wire, which I don't think it does, or if I gotta keep this ground wire and attach it. So keep that in mind. Take the pickup screws out and the pickups will be detached. Ah! Keep the little springs that popped off. Now we have the old plate. Cool. Now let's take off the old control plate. I think it's time to set up the soldering iron. Whoa! Just trying to get the cat hair off. Love that solder smell. I actually do. I don't know. I made, I made that sound like I was joking. But I do love a solder smell. I love to stick it right up my nose. Let's get the input jack out too because 
This baby came with a new input jack. Let's get close up so you guys can check out my sick ass soldering skills. We're putting on a mask and we're putting on some eye protection. Okay? Throw a rag down over where you're soldering so you don't drip hot solder on your brand new nice guitar finish. Let's start taking apart the uh, neck pickup first. Boom! Oh, look how easy that was. There you go. We're out. That is a naked ass guitar. Who's horny? The only thing left in there is this ground wire, which I believe went to the volume knob. Let's see if this fits first. Are you kidding me? What a perfect fit. Confirmed folks, the 920D Telecaster control plates fit the Harley Benton Vintage Series. That is awesome. Also, I hate this. They hate that the tip just falls right off. I, I think I'm either gonna order like a cool machined steel one or uh, there's a trick where you can um, basically take pliers and bend this a little bit so it, it doesn't uh, come off. Even my American standard one, the tip was, it would not stay on. We got a nice little wiring diagram. And so we can go ahead and put the new pickups in and that shouldn't be too hard, hopefully. Ooh, look at that nice cloth wiring, big copper plate under that pickup. This is nice. Oh, and you do get, you didn't even need springs. They give you the little, uh, whatever these are, the little, the little rubber doodads. Another wiring diagram from Fender. Very cool. All right. Guess what I did that's real dumb. I didn't feed the, the bridge pickup through the, through the hole, so I just did it right on top of everything. Ah, oh, stupid idiot, Adam. All right, I gotta undo that and stick it through the hole and do it again. Okay, you don't have to watch that. I'll be right back. I gotta change my battery anyway. All right, see, I, whatever, stupid idiot sometimes. So I unsoldered, desoldered, and then <laughs> stuck it through the cavity, gross, and then uh, resoldered. So that will probably not be the only dumb thing I do today, but. I admit, it was very dumb. Let's test the electronics before we screw everything in. Ooh, that sounds good though. We don't have any strings on, but we'll just crank up the volume. Take a screwdriver, you can hear that. Coming through the amp. Oh yeah. Seems to be working. It's making noise, so let's Get the input jack. Am I recording? Thank Jesus. Thank Jewish Jesus. Let's get the input jack through here first. Push it all the way through. Motherfucker. Now let's put the old control panel back on. We got the pickups in. That's huge. That's huge. Let's put on the new bridge. Actually, we're going to pop it in with the new pickup. Oh, it's a tight fit, but it's a fit. All right, we're locked down. The intonation for the first bridge was good and the string action was good. So while I'm here, I'm gonna just eyeball it just for a starting point and just kind of get my new one, my new uh, saddles about where my old saddles were. Well, let's put the pick guard back on so we can get this other pickup straight. My buddy has been uh, bugging me uh, about doing this on Twitch. And it sounds like a fun idea, but also it seems like, you know, I'll record for like five hours or four hours and then I'll edit it down to 20 minutes. But like, if I had a Twitch account and was just like, hey, I'm gonna be modding a guitar, or setting up a guitar or whatever, would you guys watch that? Let me know. If the answer is no, I just won't do it. If the answer is, yeah, that sounds cool, we can hang out and Ask questions. Does anybody have a question? If you have a question, put it in the comments. I fucking check my comments now because I don't got shit to do because I can't go outside. Well, I can go outside, but I can't go do stuff yet. COVID still rampant in Los Angeles. But look at that. Nobody would even know how upgraded this guitar already is. What next? What are we going to do next? I'm going to pee. I'll be right back. Okay, the pee is out of my penis and I ate a snack 
like a strawberry fruit bar. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna polish the frets while the strings are off. Frets are fine, they seem level. Go back again to that other review video. Uh, you, could, you could literally hear when you were bending the scratching of the, the strings on the frets because they don't polish them before they leave the factory. I don't think. Man, there is no fret sprout at all though. Go get yourself a nice little fret polish or just some super fine steel wool. And that is all you need to have some super slick frets. This takes like 20 minutes, so I'm gonna put some fucking music on and uh, time lapse through this. One side of an ACDC record later, we got some shiny ass frets. All that shit's from the frets. These are brand new frets. Let's do the string trees, just because it's, it's easy. Watch this be the fucking hardest part. Three screws, two trees. I gave you a bonus one, just in case you're stupid like me. Or you got a cat that knocks stuff around. Literally gonna take those screws off with a screwdriver and then put the new ones on with a screwdriver. Four hours later, just kidding. That was, that was finally an easy thing. Look at that. Looks kind of neat. I was worried it would look kind of weird with the, the chrome over here, but it actually looks kind of cool with the, the black over here too. Let's do the tuners. Boom. Let's take the old tuners off first. Gotta love how the bushings in here are stuck on so tight and the little bushing grommet things in the back just fell right out. So there's two ways I know to do this. One is to stick that in there and bang it out maybe with a hammer. I don't know if that's good or not. So this is another way and you can just go on YouTube. There's another dude who taught me how to do this. It's literally the first video you when if you type in how to get a bushing out of a headstock and you just, you put a screwdriver in and you kind of twist it around, not too crazy, just enough to loosen it up. As you can see, it's already starting to come out. So let's just do that. Let's do that and avoid hitting anything with a hammer. Ooh, jizz city. I'm gonna do that with the other ones and I'll see you in a sec. We got the, the hip shot tuners. These are the vintage ones, I believe eight and a half millimeter holes. And I'm hoping that since this is a vintage series, it's also eight and a half millimeter holes. Remove your old tuners and bushings. I did it. Clean your headstock with a soft cloth. We got these little plates. I'm gonna do us little tabs are facing up. And it's nice too, cause it covers up the little uh, holes in the back. You stick the tuner through the hole then you put a little washer on the tip and then a little, uh, what do they call these things? Reach nut. Uh, you wish you could reach my nuts. Uh-oh. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, they're just a tiny... I bet these are eight millimeter holes and we have eight and a half millimeter tuners. Get one of these on Amazon for like nine bucks and uh, you know, that's it. You ream the hole until your tuner fits. It's probably literally just needs to be like half a millimeter, so. Just go a little bit at a time. We'll do the first one together because it's tapered. It's, it's uh, you do it on both sides to make sure you get that, the opening the same side, the same size on both sides. There you go. See, little reaming until you can fit them. I'm gonna do this with all six and then uh, be back soon. Woo! Yeah! So that came out great. Nice. Not too much work, I don't know. Half an hour total. Everything is done except for the nut. And I'm dreading it because this is the, this is the thing I've had the most problems with. So what we're gonna do is get this plastic nut out and we're gonna score it with uh, this X-Acto knife I just stole from my girlfriend's office. And try to, try to yank it out with pliers. And if that doesn't work, we're gonna try to knock it from the side with a hammer. And if that doesn't work, maybe that'll work. I have farted more times in these videos than I have in front of my girlfriend total. So we'll just 
score it the best we can. Woo! All right. Clean as fuck. Beautiful. There's a flat bottom here, so let's go with a black flat bottom one. Let's try that. Black nut, black pit guard, black string trees. Let's do it. And they look to have the ex literally exact same string spacing, which is awesome. The black one's a tiny bit taller, so you might have to sand a little bit. First, we want to get it thin enough to where it fits in the slot. Let's get some sandpaper out. Can't see it like a white one, but it gets all over your hands and shit. Blah! It's cut pretty good. I still got a little room on the sides to shave, but, and I might need to shave it down a little shorter, but we're definitely at a point where, hey, Greg, what's up, dude? I think he just gets sad that, his, that he ate his food and now it's gone. You gotta start putting strings on it to uh, kind of gauge how much you gotta file it down. We'll put the uh, high E and the low E on. So for the bottom, I'm actually gonna take a little strip of sandpaper and stick it uh, between two frets, just because I can actually get the real radius of the fretboard. See how smart I am? I learned it from a Stu Mac video. I didn't make this up. So the idea is you wanna be able to press on the third fret and basically just a piece of paper would fit between the first fret and the string. Maybe it's a little high still. Let's just do it so it's good. It's almost better to have a guitar that just completely sucks than a guitar that's almost good, you know? Let's get all the strings on and then we'll play with the action and all that fun stuff. Do the chords stay in tune? Damn! Okay, that's great. This doggy needs to eat, and uh, I need to eat too, so we'll be right back. What else can we do? There are no dead frets. The action feels great. Check the intonation real quick. I mean, what? Did I hit the fucking lottery? Okay, there we go. Tiny bit off on the G string. Tighten that because it's a little flat. Dude, this guitar is in tune and intonated. Oh my God, it feels awesome. Let's clean up a little bit and then we'll see how things sound. Here you go, this is just the regular old Harley Benton right out of the box, still has the, still has the tags and the, the plastic on it. This is just through a little Black Star HTCR Black Star? Um, five watt, two amp. Anyway, I can't play real loud because it's late and my neighbor's a dick. I'll just give you some cleans with the Roswell pickups. Here's, a, here's some big old open chords. Middle position. This is what I was talking about in the last video. Do they, does it not sound like exactly the same to you? Tone all the way up, volume all the way up? I'm gonna play the same chord on all of them. Ready? G! You kidding me? I mean, it's kind of a nasty sound, I'm digging it, but like, it seems like everything's hooked up to the neck pickup. Let's do the new one. G. Middle position. Already, it's different. Bridge. I mean, come on. You got three different fucking tones. Woo, kitty 
cat don't like it. Dude, this thing is nasty now. Yeah, okay. I did the math. I added everything up, okay? Everything I listed in the beginning. Ooh, an email. Everything I listed in the beginning that was added to this guitar, $291, okay? Plus the $151 guitar, grand total, $442. If you go look at the the 50s and 60s and 70s style squires, they're all between like 420 and 480 bucks. 442, you got a fucking beautiful looking, comfortable feeling Telecaster guitar and it has all the shit. Literally everything from tuners, string trees, nut, pickups, electronics, the input jack, every single thing, literally everything but the fucking strap buttons and who cares. Oh, and I will say I ordered a real fancy raw steel machined fucking knob for like 30 bucks. It was a little silly, but still we're at like $472. We are well under $500 for a pretty sick Telecaster. So, uh, I'm happy. And, and we have another one, which is totally great, and to especially great for someone starting to play guitar, going to charity. So that's great. This one's going to uh, Silver Lake Conservatory um, for uh, kids who can't afford uh, lessons and guitars. Uh, started by Flea, I guess. I'm gonna look that up to make sure it's true, but I, it's, I don't know why anybody would lie to me about that. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing a bunch of guitar stuff, a bunch of comedy stuff, and I love you.